Hi, I'm Joe Bravita from Empire Music and EmpireMusicOnline.com. I'm here with a new product from Gibson Guitars, part of their 2020 Custom Shop Acoustic Historic Collection, the 1960 Hummingbird with a fixed bridge. This guitar is amazing. Every year we go to NAMM and try to find new products that are exciting, that our customers are gonna love, that are just standouts from the crowd. And this lineup absolutely fits the build. Uh, this 1960 Hummingbird is really a, a gem to play and it hits all the marks that you'd hope in a reissue model. Uh, the Hummingbird was introduced in 1960. It was actually Gibson's first square-shouldered dreadnought. So they'd all been kind of slope-shouldered up until then. This is the first square shoulder, and it hit at a time in music where folk music was coming into play, and the players of that time really adopted it and became the face of that generation. Um, a lot of the singer-songwriters was really just a big part of what they used. So it's definitely a familiar instrument. You can obviously see with the beautiful hummingbird pickguard, it's hard to miss, but in case you did, it also tells you here, it's a hummingbird. So if there's any confusion, you're covered. So what did Gibson do to make this product really special? Well, first of all, they came up with a new finish. It's a new thin finish. And that's important to give you that um, really rootsy acoustic Americana vibe that it was going for. So that thin finish is not only beautiful and matte, it's a vintage old stock, a VOS finish. So it's muted, it's not super glossy. Um, but it gives you that kind of aged in look, but also sonically, it's really important to the tone. Next, they took the Sika spruce top, which is what was used, and they thermally aged it. So why is that important? That aging process, by basically baking the top, it takes the moisture content of a new piece of wood and really wicks all that extra moisture in there. And it gives it the moisture content of a guitar that was made in 1960 and how it would be today, a 60 year old guitar. And that's really, really apparent because the guitar is feather light. I mean, really, really light. And um, I always love that because when you touch a light guitar, you know that it's got light bracing, which means it can be really powerful and explosive. And that's absolutely true with this instrument. Um, they've gotten it as close to an original. And the beauty is now we have technology to make the guitars more consistently. So this guitar is built much better than they would have built in 1960. The action is much lower. The dovetail neck joint is much more accurate, which is great. And the wood selection is better as well as the curing process. We're able to take care of the woods before manufacturing a lot better. So you're really getting a super premium product. Rosewood fretboard and bridge, which is what we'd want there. The vintage style tuners. And then a your mahogany neck, mahogany back and sides. Internally, we have hand scalloped X bracing, which is be traditional to this model. And um, you can really feel that bracing, that scalloping of the bracing, thinning it out and making the guitar just really project, it's really, really apparent there. Um, spruce and mahogany is great because it's super balanced and you can hear that. impeccable balance. The bass notes are really boomy and they're super present in the tone, but it's not overwhelming and it's not sloppy. It doesn't just like kind of bleed into all the other tones or overpower everything or get distorted. It really is focused and defined, which is super primo. I love that in a guitar is that when we have that nice big bass response, but it separates from the other notes. We still want these notes to be vocal through the middle of the neck and um, in the uh, top of the, the fretboard here, you know, it's like we want those top strings to sparkle, want the mids to be evident. So really a, a really a spot on job there. Um, a good way to check how well a guitar is balanced is, and something I like to do in most of my videos is just play them up the neck and make sure that those middle notes don't fade away. It's real easy to get a top end sparkly note to sound apparent or a bass note to sound apparent. But those middle notes sometimes get lost. So let's check it out. You know, Gibson kind of has that midsy natural tone and you can really hear that here. And even more so through those open chords through the middle of the neck, you really notice that presence still, right? 
it's not thin, it's not too chimey. Um, the guitar has a lot of body in all sections of the sound. And I think it's really important when the six strings of a guitar are equally vocal. I think that's a really big part of tone. We want to have a warm bass response. We want to have that classic tone, which we get. But this is a guitar that any style of guitar player could use. If you're a singer songwriter, you're covered because it's big and full and can fill a room and, and can back you as a solo artist. But if you were playing with other guitar players and you need to be heard, or if you were playing um, with a bass player and you need to be heard, this will absolutely cut through the mix. That's a, a really big part of the, the ability of Gibson guitars is something that's really unique to them, is that that kind of, I feel like that cleaner sound, even though they're Americana, they're not so bassy that you really lose um, focus and lose the ability to articulate through the middle of the neck, which is important. The finish, you can feel because the uh, thin finish, which is a nitrocellulose lacquer, is so nice because it's so light. The guitar is immediately responsive. What I wanna do now is just kind of play lightly and show you the ability of the guitar to go from quiet, but still composed, to bigger sounding. So let's check it out. It can really do tons of levels of inflection. So we can still play quietly and nuanced and we can play big. The Custom Shop Acoustic Historic line from Gibson that is debuting this year is just awesome. I, we've done a video already on the 1942 J45 banner, so check that out. Check out all of our YouTube videos. If you can subscribe, that would be awesome. If you're interested in this guitar or any other guitar, you can reach us at empiremusiconline.com. You can call us at 412-343-5299, or you can text me 412-915-7118. I'm always available. Myself, Todd, or Anthony are always here to answer your questions. Make sure you get the best deal on the planet. We'll guarantee you an amazing deal. Pro service afterward and before. So if you need anything, we'll set it up to your specifications. Our tech is amazing, so we can put on the strings that you like. Make sure it's all dialed in exactly to what you need, and we're really proud of that. So this is the Gibson 1960 Hummingbird, part of the Custom Shop Acoustic Historic Collection, new for 2020 from Gibson. We are Empire Music, empiremusiconline.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching, we hope to hear from you about this guitar or others in our collection.